Well, uh, for congregational prayer this morning, brothers and sisters, we have um, we have already received, uh, thank you to Jeanette, um, an update on her situation with her knee. Uh, she has been scheduled for surgery for her knee on March the 29th. Um, and so uh, she would very much appreciate prayer for that, of course. Um, but then also prayer that in the lead up to that time, she would stay healthy um, and uh, that everything uh, would come into place in terms of aftercare beforehand. Uh, if you know what I mean, so that uh, so that everything can work out there. We will, of course, uh, but please continue to play, pray for Wayne and Sherry. Um, yeah, Wayne's condition uh, continues to be uh, not great. Let's come to God in congregational prayer. Father, oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I totally bad to interrupt a prayer when we just started. I forgot to uh, announce, and this is this is a. Uh, I this should not have forgotten this. Uh, our offering today is for World Renew slash the Canada Food Greens Bank, uh, which is great. Uh, like the the combination of Canada Food Greens Bank and World Renew and our government and our farmers and the people in our society who contribute to that is awesome. Right now, um, I, we found out that uh, right now the government, I believe, is matching donations to the Canada Food Grains Bank four to one. So uh, whatever donations that go to Canada Food Grain Banks through World Renew uh, will be matched at that level, and that is fantastic. For those of you who don't know, Canada Food Grain Bank is uh, something that farmers contribute to and that people throughout uh, Canada contribute to and that our government obviously contributes to. And uh, we use that to pool resources to help um, people all over the world who are uh, struggling with food security and so on. It is absolutely a fantastic and totally practical way uh, to help out those who are hungering throughout the world. So uh, keep in mind, Canada Food Grains Bank and World Renew and all those who contribute to that, including hopefully you. So let's pray. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so very much for gathering us together. Uh, we are so grateful to be back uh, for in-person services and also to be able to continue to do online services as well. If nothing else, oh God, uh, this pandemic has certainly uh, stretched us in various ways, and some of them very good, and we're very grateful for that. We pray, however, for all of us as we are heading into the one-year anniversary of uh, the official declaration of pandemic. Uh, Lord, so many of us are tired. Uh, so many of us are feeling burdened with uh, constant having to make choices about uh, the pandemic and what's safe and what's not and what's loving and what's not and on all that, uh, Lord. And, and we see that in our province uh, today, some uh, tomorrow, this week, some of our uh, areas, some of our health unit areas are heading into lesser restrictions, uh, but there are also places like Sudbury that are heading into greater restrictions starting tomorrow and so we pray for uh, this whole province and for this whole country and for this whole world as we continue uh, uh, in the pandemic lord we are so grateful not only that we are back but we are so grateful that the vaccines are uh, rolling out we're so grateful to hear of those within our congregation who have already received the vaccine and those who are uh, scheduled to do so in the next little while lord we pray that uh, not only would those vaccines roll out smoothly and quickly and well, but also, O oh God, that as we go through this time period, that we would find out more and more that indeed these vaccines are truly effective, not only in keeping people from getting uh, seriously ill, but also that they will be very effective for helping to limit uh, the spread of COVID-19. Um, Lord, we pray, um, we pray not only about COVID-related things, of course, oh God, we praise you 
that, uh, that even in spite of uh, sickness and whatever else is going on in this world, your seasons continue to roll on. We thank you for uh, the soon to come uh, bringing of spring. Lord, we could, we've already had some tastes of that in terms of weather and sunshine and some warmer spells. Uh, but Lord, we, we look forward to, um, th to those crocuses that uh, peer up through the snow at the beginning of spring. And we, we look forward to the, the smell and the sound of melting ice and snow. And we look forward to uh, getting out outside more and the longer days and, and all that is good there. Father, we pray. We pray that you will be with um, particularly our farmers and gardeners as, as they start to get geared up for, uh, for planting and all that, uh, all that is involved in spring for them. We pray for safety for them um, and wisdom as well. Father, we pray, uh, we pray very much for Wayne and for Sherry, uh, for Wayne's health uh, and for Sherry as she continues to care for Wayne, uh, but also for the whole family, for, uh, for, for the kids and the grandkids. Lord, we just pray that you would uh, guide all of them as they continue to stand by Wayne during this time, uh, but also, oh God, as they... Uh, as they consider what you have in store for him. Lord, we thank you so much for his uh, comfort in your love and for his knowledge of who you are and uh, of your salvation through Jesus Christ. Father, we pray as well for Henny uh, and Mark. Lord, we pray for Henny as she continues her treatments. We ask that you will continue to bless her with, uh, with the family that they have and, and their love for her and for Mark. Lord, we pray that you will, again, continue to be with Mark. We pray as well that you will be with Martin. Thank you so much for his birthday. Uh, for Frida's birthday, for Kathy's birthday, birthday, for so many people's birthdays in this time period. Uh, Lord, we pray that you will bless each and every one of them. In particular, right now, Lord, we pray uh, that you will be with Martin in terms of his health. Uh, Lord, uh, we ask that you will strengthen him. Uh, we know that he had a pretty rough week this past week, and we, we ask that you would uh, just uh, be with him and with Odie, uh, that you would uh, bring healing uh, to Martin in whatever way you choose to heal and in your timing as well. Father, uh, we pray that you will be with Gwyneth uh, as she starts uh, a new adventure. Uh, Lord, we thank you for uh, your leading in her life. We pray as well for uh, transitions as uh, she heads out uh, away from uh, Heritage High as part of Heritage Community Christian School. We pray that, uh, that the transition there to whomever uh, will lead that uh, wonderful schooling opportunity uh, will be brought uh, into place soon and that uh, you will bless whomever it is as well. Father. We pray very much for uh, Canada Food Grains Bank and for World Renew and for our government. We thank you so much for this opportunity to give and have that multiplied so greatly. Um, and, and Lord, we just thank you so much for the many, many, many people who have been helped uh, through Canada Food Grains Bank uh, in terms of their food security. Oh God, uh, Father, we pray that you will continue to bless this ministry um, and that you will also receive our tithes and offerings as a pleasing aroma to you. And Father, as we come to, uh, as we come to your scriptures, before we come to your scriptures, we pray uh, that you will be with Jeanette. Lord, we thank you so much that there is a date for her surgery. Uh, Lord, we pray that uh, all of those um, 
All of those aftercare pieces will come into place before the surgery so that, uh, so that she will be able to, with confidence and reassurance, go into the surgery knowing that, uh, that things will go well afterwards. Uh, but Lord, we pray also that you will keep her healthy uh, in the meantime so that surgery doesn't get delayed or anything like that. And Father, we pray too that you would guide us as we come to your scriptures. Uh, Lord, open our hearts. May your Holy Spirit teach our ears to hear what you would have us hear, so that we may be comforted and strengthened and sent out again to minister in your name in this world. We pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.